Some of the best selling ebooks on KDP or Google Play Books are kids storybooks. These books do so well. You can come up with these books yourself very easily using Canva and today I'm going to show you how to create them using Canva and ChatGPT. So what you want to do, you're going to come over to Canva and you're going to search storybooks. Okay, just going to type over your story, storybooks. And from here, you can see Canva is also going to show you different kinds of templates that you can use for kids storybooks. There's so many of them, but I just want to show you how you can create one from scratch. So you can click over here, create a blank storybook. So here's where we can create our books and you can create books on animals. Okay, animals are really big. Kids love animals. Those are one of the best selling ebooks. So we're basically going to have images over here and stories about each of those animals. Okay, and we can start with farm animals. So you can come up over here to elements and then you can just type over here cow. Okay, we can start with a cow and I want to use graphics. Okay, graphics are the best for kids. So you can use any of these. Most of them are paid, but some of them are also free. I'm going to go with this one here. Okay, so we'll have that cow right there. Okay, I'll just put it at the top right over there. And then down here, I want to have a frame. Okay, a frame where we can have another image of a cow. This is going to be more of a real life animal, a real life cow. Okay, so I'll just come up over here. I'll type frame. Okay. The type of frame I want is actually a blob frame. Okay, I'll type, I'll type over here blob. Okay, a blob frame. All right, so I'll just use any of these, any of these top uh, six. Okay, I will go with this one here. Okay, so I'll just place this just below the graphic cow. And then now I'll look for a cow. Okay, an actual cow. I'll just search again over here and I will go to photos. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just use this one here. I'll just drag it down, then I'll bring it right over there. All right. So now we have a graphic cow and we have a real cow. All right. Now I'm going to create another animal. I'll just I'll just click on add page. All right. And then I will this time I will do maybe pig. Type over here pig. Okay. And then this actually we want to duplicate this. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to duplicate this. Okay. I'll just click on this. And then now I'll replace these images with the new ones. So for the pig. I'll first get an actual pig, which is this one here. Okay, I'll bring it right over there under this frame. And then now I'll get a graphic pig. I'll delete this one here. And then now I'll just get a graphic pig like this one over here. I'll bring this up over here. All right, and just like that. So you're just going to keep duplicating for different farm animals or whatever it is that you want to design. I'm going to duplicate this again. I'll get now maybe chicken. And I'll pretty much do the same thing. So I'm just going to speed this up. I'll get a couple more animals. All right, so I've added a couple more animals. So they're actually six in total. So now what we're going to do now is add some background, okay, because we cannot really have it in white. It won't really be interactive for kids. So you just want to make it colorful. You can put it in one color for each or you can separate different colors. So for this one here, you can have it maybe like in orange or yellowish. Uh, dark, you can have it in lighter colors. So I have that one in green. I can have this one maybe in... Yeah, maybe with pink and then this one here I would have it also in a different color as well okay I can have this okay that color orangish and I also have I would have this one in a totally different color so you're just playing around with the colors and you want to make them light okay don't make them too dark for the kids just have them light like that okay this one here as well okay maybe something like that I'll go and change this one as well to maybe a little bit of that. Okay. So now we have our colored book. Now the next thing, actually the last step that we're going to do is now add a description for each of these animals. Okay. So basically we're going to have a description like maybe facts, uh, facts about uh, cows, uh, facts about pigs, chicken. So we'll basically have facts about farm animals. Okay. And we're going to do this using the help of ChatGPT. So you can just come up over here and just type give me facts about about each farm 
animals okay all right so chat gpt has given us uh facts about each uh, animal so we can see we have a cow pig chicken a uh, sheep goats so uh we can start with cows okay so we have cows have a keen sense of smell and can detect scents up to six miles away they have four stomachs which help them digest tough grasses more efficiently cows communicate with it uh, with each other through a complex system of moves, grunts, and bellows. So this is something that we can use for our book. Okay, so we can I can just copy all of this like this and come back over here. Okay, I'll grab some text. Okay, I will use this one here, the subheading, and I will just paste our facts right there. Okay, it's just like this. Maybe you can make this a little bit smaller like this just widen this and then what you're going to do you're going to get rid of these points okay because you want it to look more of like a child book okay child books don't really have these points so we want to get rid of the of these bullet points like that just make sure to remove them okay just like that and then you can just space them out space them out and then you can have a bigger font or fonts that are more uh, kids friendly so i can just highlight this and I can use different fonts over here. I can select my fonts. And I'll just go with this one here. And make this bigger, just like this. And you can even go ahead and just, you know, play around with the images. Maybe you can have this image on the left hand side over here. So let me uh, I'll just I'll just delete this section up over here. Okay, just like that. And I bring this up over here. And then maybe I bring this down at the bottom over here. Okay, I duplicate this bring it here and then I replace the text that was cut okay so it's just something like this you just want to play around you don't have to have it in one type of um, format you can just play around and then you can bring this down over here okay so something like that and then up over here you have the name you can have the name of the animal so I'm going to duplicate this as well okay, I'll just bring it up over here and I'll just say a uh, cow okay i'll just expand this like this okay so i'll just make this bigger right so something just like this all right and then now you can do this for the rest of these we have a pig over here i'm going to do the same i'm just i think i'm just going to use this uh, format i think i like it like this i'll just bring this pig on the left hand side over here and also this one maybe just at the bottom here okay, i'll just grab this text I actually i'll just duplicate this Okay, I'll bring it to this other frame. Okay, this other section over here. And I'll just okay. Now I'll come back to chat GPT. Let's get our pig facts. Copy all that. Come back over here. And again, I'll just grab this same text format. Okay, I'll just use the same one. And I will just paste my pig facts over there. Then again, we're pretty much re doing the same thing. We're just going to remove these points just like that okay and i'll just grab this i'll just remove this section over here we're pretty much again just doing the same thing make this smaller bring this down over here i duplicate this i bring it here and then i paste that text over there okay so this is how you want to do it okay and it's just going to repeat the same thing for the rest of this all right so i'm done entering all text for all animals okay so now once you're done you can just go ahead and give it a title over here so i'll just call this farm animals so now we're going to click on share okay click on share and we're going to click on more just click on more over here and then you're going to scroll down over here you will click on simple booklet flip okay just select this okay now this is a format that's going to allow you to convert this book into an actual flip book okay the simple booklet flip is an account is a separate account that you need to create just create an account it's very easy and it's free and once you've created your account you can now come down here and click on save all right so it'll tell you your design has been saved and i'm going to view in simple booklet flip click on this and from here you can now actually um it's going to tell you, you can convert your file into a simple booklet okay you have the title of a book over here and then these are the different types of ways that you can view your book okay you have this one here and then you also have this okay you also have this one over here you have this you have this so this is the most common this is the normal type of view and then you have the calendar type okay so i'm just going to go this one this one is called the page call okay just like that and click on convert all right 
so our book is done you can just close this and then now you can just simply view your book okay as you can see you can easily flip through the pages okay just like that now simple booklet only works best with links okay you can actually share it and use it as a link so if you, want, if you have like maybe an email list or you just want to share it maybe on your website you can actually get the link to your book okay by just clicking on share over here and you'll grab your link from here okay but otherwise if you just want to download it normally like a pdf you can also do it from here just click on share here on canva click on download and just download it as a pdf now another niche that you can do is alphabets okay alphabet books sell really well as well you can also get alphabet uh, alphabet books ideas from these platforms google play or amazon kdf and this is just as easy as animals it's probably even easier because all you're doing is just creating letters okay so you can just come back up again over here you can just click on uh, create a blank story and you can just use the storybooks templates or any other template i'm just going to go with the same storybook template i'll click on a blank one and you can just call this alphabets all right and then you can start with the letters so you can come back up over here to text and again you want to grab a very simple text let me go with this one here uh, a very simple text font i'll go with body and i'll do both capital letters so i'll do both a capital letters for a and small letters for b okay i'll just duplicate this uh sorry small letters for a i'll just duplicate that and place a small a like that okay maybe i'll bring this down over here just like this all right so a would be for apple okay i'll have an image of apple over here i'll just uh, go to elements type over here apple okay i'll just go to graphics and select this apple over here and i will just place this okay over there right at the center there all right so now you want to have some lines okay you've noticed how how uh, children's books alphabet books have lines which act as guidelines okay basically guidelines that allow them that actually guide them to write their letters so we're going to have those lines you can get those lines from um again just from elements over here okay you can just type lines and you can use these shapes over here okay just go to shapes you can click on see all okay so we're going to use both the solid line and the dotted line so just grab this one first just bring it down over here just right below the a and you just stretch it out like this okay you can just duplicate it and bring it up over there okay just like that and then now grab the dotted line okay this one should be in the middle usually it's supposed to be where the center or the bridge of the a is okay so let's have it at the edge and then you just stretch it all the way until there okay now you're going to do the same for this one as well okay you just let's just duplicate these okay, it's going to be easier once you duplicate uh, if you duplicate bring the same dotted line right here in the middle somewhere there and then again just duplicate the bottom section okay so just something like this and then you can do this for the rest of the alphabets okay you can just duplicate this okay maybe now you'll have b b over here uh, let me bring this down just replace this with b all right that is for capital b now this one here you're going to adjust it okay because they're not all equal at the center you just adjust it up like that okay here you're going to place the lowercase b or small b just like that now this one here doesn't really have a center so it, they don't really need a guideline for this so you can just remove that just like that okay and then now you can be b for ball you can replace this with an image of a ball you can grab a ball from elements over here okay it's just very simple you grab a ball and you can just use any ball over here you bring this up over here okay it's just like this all right and just repeat the same process for all the letters okay you're just going to do the same thing you just download it you can download it using the simple booklet or you can just download it as a pdf over here so this is just some of the ways that you can come up with kids books you can do farm animals you can do alphabet and create them using canva and chat gpt very easily and this covers by the way you can actually create them on canva or you can just have someone design them for you on fiverr okay it's much easier on fiverr it's very affordable just five dollars you'll have individuals creating for you these covers very easily and this is how you can actually come up with a full engaging kids storybook so that's going to do it for this video i hope this was valuable please leave a like if you found it valuable subscribe to the channel if you haven't and turn on notifications 
so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.